Greetings brothers and sisters. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video, for subscribing, for sharing this video, for supporting us by buying us coffee. And for comments, super thanks, yeah. super chats, for your comments. We are grateful. So last year we was oh, we, this year actually we were asking what to have where will after the US military base is moved from Niger. A hundred million dollars. Yeah, last time I was wrong, I said billion. It's a hundred and one according to our one of our subscribers, hundred yeah, hundred exactly. million dollars yeah. worth of an air base will move from Niger mm. after the government of Niger, mm. Abdurrahman Tiani said we don't want you. We don't want your threats and nonsense. Where we did go and we were saying probably Maur probably Mauritania, probably Benin, mm. blah blah blah. So there's this uh, newspaper in X, it's called Lahfu Afrique. Lahfu Afrique. It ha it has reported this urgent. The USA will build a military base in the town of OGN or OGN in the northeast of Ivory Coast, near the borders of Mali and Guinea. With the new version of the Reaper drones, the United States will be able to control both a part of the strategic and con coveted Gulf of Guinea from Nokshot to Lome. Nokshot is Mauritania, Lome is Togo, and the countries of Sahel with beautiful views of Bamako and Ouagadougou. That's what they said. I think it's a whole racist magazine. And the AES Info reported and said that the choice of OGN is not accidental. The locality offers an ideal geopolitical position for monitoring both parts of the Gulf of Guinea, a strategic and coveted area extending from Nokshot in Mauritania to Lome in Togo, and the Sahel countries with direct views of Bamako and Wagadu. The American installation should also be equipped with a new version of Reaper drone sophisticated machines capable of carrying out surveillance and strike missions over long distances. So it's crazy because it's like they have lost the control of the Sahel countries, especially the AES, and they want to control these countries from Cote d'Ivoire. And we've been seeing what Cote d'Ivoire has been doing to Burkina Faso. We've been seeing ben what Benin has been doing to Mali. But uh, what they don't know is the uh, changes here, yeah. and things will be changing for the better. Yeah, I saw very disturbing reports from Niger that you know part of the army, the soldiers in um, in one of the areas had been gunned down um, by what looks like terrorists. But with these reports coming in that you know the U.S. army has been taken yes, to Cote d'Ivoire, and you know they it's, can... it's not yet there. But yeah, but too. yeah, it's it's I, I know for sure with the plans that you are going there, you have already established yourself. You know what the area looks like, wherever you want to relocate to, and just them saying that they are able to, you know, attack from far, so they could be in Cote d'Ivoire and attacking these guys from, you know, from Cote d'Ivoire. They they, are, they have drones, they whatever mm -hmm. that they can use to do this kind of very. You know, it's, it's very scary. Job. So, so when these things come in, and we're being told that you know, with the U.S. leaving Niger, these guys, their soldiers now can't, um, the army now can't see the terrorists. Now they are being attacked, they are being killed, and me seeing how you, the U.S. has strategically placed itself, or will be strategically placing itself in Cote d'Ivoire. I am putting these things um, together, and I'm seeing that. Maybe this is an attack from the U.S. I don't know. Because it looked like these guys couldn't see who was coming to attack them. Reports maybe will be coming in on how, and what happened really to these uh, army guys in that, in that place in Niger. But it's very disturbing to see that Cote d'Ivoire could welcome the U.S. and enable them to carry out this kind of dirty work. In the my, my, my big areas. problem is we've been seeing anything that happens in Burkina Faso. The people who are involved are hiding in Cote d'Ivoire. So what, will, what more will happen if, because even Abdurrahman Tiani of Niger said, we know who fund the terrorists. And we know who will do that, mm -hmm. according to what they say. So don't you think it will be very, you know, it's, it's kind of scary that they are here and they are the people who do this, they fund this, 
it will be uh, these guys need to be very 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 careful but it's good that we, they have Ch uh, russia and they are also doing extremely good work training together and trying to you know do their own thing without involving these people so they, these people won't even know what hit them imagine your neighbor doing everything to it's a puppet. I'm sure the brothers of Kodivo, brothers and sisters of Kodivo, won't want this. It's hey. the puppet. And uh, they are voting next year. We're hoping that, man, the young people of Kodivo, please, please, please make us proud. Get this puppet out of the way. Brothers and sisters, let us know what you think about these very sad reports coming in from Niger, Cote d'Ivoire. We don't know what kind of game you are playing, but it's very unfortunate that you have to comply to such very it's that work honestly yeah. we would like to hear from you in the comment section down below please don't forget to like the video subscribe share comment you can also support by sending us super chats super thanks and buying us a coffee the link is in the description box down below we'll see you in the next one Bye -bye. Bye.